Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video, we have learned how to connect next auth with MongoDB. In this video, we are going to learn how to connect next auth authentication with MySQL database. So how to do that? We are going to configure MySQL for next auth and then we are going to activate the application with mysql authentication so for that we are going to the code here and i need to install a one library so i say npm install mysql2 remember that mysql2 we have to install for making a connection with mysql so here i need to start this application once again it has been installed now here last time we have connected with mongodb now we are going to replace this with mysql for that i need to create one more component so i say this component here mysql connect.js remember that and here i import mysql i say mysql from that would be from mysql to promise that i need then i create function so i say rafce here and i need to remove this no need of this and here in place of mysql connect i say execute query here also i need execute query so i say execute query here i say async and here i need to pass query and data remember that and i need to make a connection with that so i say try catch here under try i say catch also there would be error if there is an error then return error like this so i need to remove this so now we have to create a object db equal to mysql dot create connection here i need to pass a object so in this object i need to pass mysql host so host is 27.0.0.1 then we have a port number port number is 3306 then i need database so i say database name is login db uh, then we have username uh, that is root then they need password so password for my mongodb is null nothing is there this is the information for making a connection with mysql after that i need a constant of result remember that so i need this result here and i need db dot execute so execute function is there here i need to pass query and data so after that it will return uh, i need to remove this db dot execute await this and this is also await making a connection this is also result is coming and i say here result is there the db uh, dot end we have to make a connection end here then i say return result remember that so that we have to return and here if there is an error i can return null also because we can check if it is null then nothing to display otherwise we have to display this result so connection is done with mysql for mysql i have here exam server mysql and here i already have this uh, login db as a database and login as a table and i have information about user so just my db is running i go to there and here i need to connect so i need execute query so this execute query i have export also here so i need to import it here so this i have to remove nothing need mongo connect no need of this so i say import and i say execute query for mysql connection remember that now because this execute query is running so in place of this i need to use execute query so i say const user and that would be execute query and here i am passing query first of all and then i am passing an empty object because i don't want to pass anything i want to read information so i am designing a query i say query equal to so i say select stuff from uh, login table where email equal to and uh, we have uh, this one i say email then i say and 
पासवर्ड पासवर्ड इक्वल टू दिस वन आई से पासवर्ड सो दिस इज द क्वेरी रिमेंबर दैट सो दिस क्वेरी फ्रॉम द लॉग इन आई एम पासिंग हेयर एंड आफ्टर डूइंग दिस इफ देर इज सम रिजल्ट इज देयर सम इंफॉर्मेशन इज अवेलेबल दैन वी हैव ई मेल देयर वी हैव यूजर देयर अदरवाइज वी आर पासिंग इन दल सो दैट मीन्स वी हैव लॉग इन विद दिस माई स्क्वेल एंड ट्राई टू एग्जीक्यूट इट वंस अगेन दिस एप्लीकेशन इज रनिंग विद प्रीवियस ऑथेंटिकेशन सो जस्ट आई क्लिक ऑन साइन आउट एंड आई एम जस्ट साइनिंग आउट विद मोंगोज डी बी सो दिस क्वेरी इज रनिंग यू सी एंड नाउ आई हैव टू सो दिस क्वेरी इज कम्प्लीटेड हेयर एंड दिस क्वेरी आई एम पासिंग हेयर एंड आई हैव टू यूज इट अवेट ऑल्सो बिकॉज इट यूज अवेट एंड आई सेव दिस and i am passing the same user the dr vipin and dr vipin is the password i click here and you see there is some wrong information is there means we have some wrong username password dr vipin and again dr vipin i say if username password is okay then it will okay otherwise not so i have to check once again select staff from login where email is this and password is this and here i have password so here email i am passing so i have to pass this email under double quote because it's a string value this password also i have to pass under double quote because it's a string value remember that so now it is okay i think compiled and no run default value and again i try to pass this and i say dr vipin click sign in and you see yeah it's okay and you see it will return username and password also because we are executing and returning a result so we can remove this so we have a syntax error in this query so we have done this and now we are able to log in with the help of mysql remember that now you can access each and every page like this and you can sign out also i say dr vipin and i say dr vipin as a password once again i try to see and you see with the help of my skill we are able to make a login with next to it remember that if there is some problem here you can solve yourself also because this is the way to connect with my skill so i have explain you how to connect maybe some fault on the basis of query and user available just solve yourself but this is the way to connect with my skill so i have explained in this video that how to connect with mysql and how to make activate your next auth library with mysql in next js application so right now we have connect with all the databases and now in uh, next video i am going to explain you how to manage session also how to create session variables and pass value to session variables available here and we will also learn connectivity with github so right now if you like this video connection with mysql please like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video